Former tech entrepreneur Andrew Yang now considered one of the top mayoral candidates. A long shot presidential bid that lasted longer than most expected, but it put him on the path to nearly 2 million Twitter followers. And now well, he hopes to win over a new generation of voters, New Yorkers. Right now he is conducting his campaign remotely after a staffer tested positive for COVID just a few days ago. And Andrew joining us now from quarantine. How are you feeling? What day is this for you? Uh, this is day four for me. Uh, I'm doing great. I'm still riding high from yesterday's inauguration. Yes, the Trump era is over. President Joe Biden, Vice President Kamala Harris. Uh, but thank you for asking. The, the, the quarantine has been, uh, you know, like more of an opportunity to work virtually than anything else. Uh, but I can't wait to get back out there again. You mentioned Biden. Today he signed off on at least 10 executive orders in addition from the 17 yesterday. But these are focused mostly on COVID-19 and the battle. Here, of course, we have the lack of vaccine. Everyone is thinking about that. The governor, the mayor blaming the Fed the government, but what onus is really on the governor and the mayor to get their act together to make sure that New Yorkers have access to enough vaccines? New Yorkers are frustrated. Uh, you know, the, the fact that we had appointments canceled uh, is unacceptable, really. I mean, we're the most densely populated city in the country. We were one of the original epicenters. Uh, we need the vaccine. So and certainly Donald Trump bears a lot of responsibility for this. Uh, they really just completely fell asleep at the switch this last number of weeks. But New Yorkers know that we've been suffering for too long. And if anyone should be getting the vaccine on time, it is us. If you were in the position as the mayor, what, you, what would you do differently? I would be going directly to the companies that source it and say, look, whatever it takes, hell or high water, we need to get the vaccine. Uh, and then we have some suggestions on how we can actually get the distribution out a little bit more quickly to some folks that are having trouble getting to sites. Uh, but we need to be moving heaven and earth right now. New Yorkers are fed up. We've been going through too much for too long. Uh, and I think most New Yorkers agree that we should be expecting better than this. Yeah, well, this town is in such a financial free fall and dire straits right now. I know you have proposed a casino on Governor's Island, even though right now there's a deed restriction that bans casinos. But what else have you been talking about to get the economy up and running again if you were to be the mayor? Number one is to recover from COVID. We need to get the vaccine out to people quickly and accessibly. But then we need a way to confirm for folks that we have been vaccinated. Because I want you to imagine if you're watching this at home, let's say you got the vaccine. Does that mean that you're going to feel confident going to a show or restaurant or bar? So we need to have an app on our phone that just says, look, I was vaccinated. And then you can go into that restaurant or bar, take off your mask, breathe easy. That's how we're going to get New York back on its feet, because the truth is that we're missing 60 million tourists, 700,000 plus jobs. We need to speed it up. And there are ways we can speed it up if we allow people to actually share that they've been vaccinated on their phone. You know, I've heard you talk a lot about police reform today. The NYPD, they announced some new guidelines when it comes to disciplining officers for misconduct. How would you tackle the crime? Because it's everywhere. Uh, would you replace the commissioner? I've heard you said that you would with a civilian rather from within. Now, we need to have a civilian police commissioner the same way they do it at the national level, where you have a civilian head of the military, and that's actually very constructive uh, for the, the culture. But the single biggest driver of the crime that we're seeing is the wake of the coronavirus. If you get vaccines into people and then they're able to get back to school, get back to work, then you're going to see crime uh, come down. It, it's a problem that we have to attack from all angles. You think all roads lead to the coronavirus as being the crux for everything. Well, I'm an entrepreneur and what you want to do is you want to solve the biggest problems first. And the fact is the, the city had its problems pre COVID, but COVID just devastated us on so many levels. Again, 700,000 missing jobs, over 10,000 small businesses closing. We need to get New York back on its feet. And the fastest way to do that is through vaccine, a way to confirm that you've been vaccinated, give us the confidence to get back together. We have to solve the biggest problem immediately. All right, Andrew Yang, pleasure to have you on with us tonight. Thank you. Thanks, Lori. Have a great night.